Hey guys, what's going on? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and in this video, we will take a look at the AE Juice Pack Manager which comes with some amazing freebies like liquid and shape elements, liquid transitions, slides for your slideshows, simple transition, 2D, 3D and text presets, flat icons, UI elements by Motion Cafe and some whiteboard elements. All this 100 plus elements for free. They also come with a free sound effects pack which contains more than 130 plus different sound effects that you can use absolutely free. So let's take a look at the AE Juice Pack Manager extension and what it has to offer. Alright guys, here we are in After Effects and here I have opened up the AE Juice Pack Manager. After you install it, you can find it under Windows AE Juice Pack Manager 3. Make sure you have the latest version. It is absolutely free to download it. Firstly, we have the purchase pack. So if you purchase any pack, you can see them right over here in the purchase section or you can directly head on to the free section that we have. So in the free section, there is a starter pack which you can check out with, which contains some really cool looking animations so you know to get help you get started with different stuff like the first one we have liquid elements so in case if you want to use any kind of liquid elements before purchasing the elements pack whichever elements pack that you need you can try it out from these section and see if you get comfortable with this so we have the liquid elements we also have some nice vintage slideshow animation whiteboard animation liquid transitions shape elements text animation, monster transition, which is one of my favorite section, 2D animations, 3D animation presets, flat icons, shape elements too, and one of my favorite that is the motion cafe UI. So if I just increase the size, you can see it more properly. Really cool looking UI HUD animations that you can use in your project to, you know, make it look really, really cool. And using them is also very simple. Now, if I go into my free section, you also get a free section for some sound effects. So if I jump into that, you can see we get a very huge library of sound effects, which are absolutely free. So you can download it and use them. You can simply browse through the sound effects really easy, you know. So if you're creating some very cool logo animations and stuff like that, you can use this really cool sound effects to add to your cinematic titles or maybe a nice video that you're working on. There is sound effects for almost everything like this nice pop-ups. You also get some nice pencil scribbles, papers, and a lot of different varieties. We also get, you know, a complete music track that you can add to your cinematic videos or maybe your vlogs and number of different things that you can play around with. If I go to the main packs, that is the purchase section. And as you can see, I have access to number of different packs. So let's try out some of these. So let's head on to actually one of my favorite that is the liquid elements pack. So I'll just, you know, click to open that up. And it is a very huge library of, you know, liquid elements that you would ever need I think so to use this pack is absolutely simple you can create a new composition I'll call this a e juice and to apply this you can simply just select and drag and drop it and there you will have the animation really simple to use you can go into the effects and control panel you can change the color to whichever color that you like and you know, in case if you want to adjust the size, you can simply hit S and scale it down. And there you will have your animation. You also get this marker that is an in animation marker. So you can tweak that to, you know, play around with the animation time and stuff like that. So let's go back into the AE Juice Pack Manager. Let's check out some other animations. So we have some simple bird animations, blood splashes, which is really cool. Some bubble effects. And one more thing that I would like to show you guys is that... If I click on this gear icon that we have, 
I can select which style of animation that I want. So let's say, even though I'm working with bubbles, but I want kind of a glowy bubble. So I can select this and hit OK. And now if I add any of this bubble, so let's drag and drop it right over here. You can see we get some nice glowing bubbles. So there are different kind of styles that you can, you know, choose from like this one again is one of my favorite this looks really cool and then we have this 3d extruded animation we have this really cool kind of a gradient glitch style animation then we have a cartoony animation but glowing and this drop shadow one is one of my favorite so for now i'll just go switch back to the traditional style then if I jump into some other packs like the text animation, which is very, very cool because it has this really cool feature to animate the text. So let me just show you guys that pretty quick. I'll delete this presets or this elements that we have. Let's select the text tool and I'm going to type in something like maybe motions. Let's increase the size. I'll just place it right over here. Let's increase the size a bit. I'll close that for now. And let's say if I want to add a nice animation to this text, so I can just simply browse through this amazing library of text animations. So let's check out some really cool animations. Now you can see we get this nice animation. If you have a complete para or you have two, three lines of animations, you can add that. But let's say I'll go with maybe this one. This looks nice and cool. Now what we can do is if I just select it and if I just you know, drag it right over here. It shows this arrow and it says that from where we want the animations to start. So in this case, the arrow is indicating towards the left. So I want this animation to start from the bottom. So I'll move it right over here unless and until this arrow shows up and then I just leave it. So now the animation is applied and now you can see we have this nice animation applied from the bottom. Now let's say I'm not sure which animation would go better with my text. So what I can do is this is a really cool button that we have right here called animate. So if I just click on this, it's going to randomly add some nice animation to our text. So I can just click on it. Let's preview this. So let's say I really like this one or maybe I don't, I can click on animate and it's going to randomly select a nice animation for our text. So this way you can, you know, experiment with different text and different fonts and it will definitely look pretty cool. Now let's hop into some different packs. So I'll jump into, let's say, let's say shape elements. So I'll jump into that. And here you can see we have some, again, very cool library of elements, which you can add to your projects and make them look super, super cool. We also have this really cool whiteboard animations, which you can check out if you are into that kind of animations. But one of my favorite is the shape elements, the text animation presets, and we also have some 2D animation presets. So let's check those out. So if I jump into that, you can see we have really cool and sweet looking animation that you can use. So let's say if I just delete this text and let's, um, actually add a text. Let's use this one as a logo. So let's say this is my logo that I want to use. Increase the size a bit. So let's say this is my logo and I want to add a nice pop-up animation to this. So I can just browse through this library of amazing animations. And let's say I like this one. So I can just simply drag and drop it. And this time I want the animation to appear from the top. So I'll just drag and drop it. And now we have a really cool animation. Now, in case if you don't like the animation, you can anytime switch it by using this animate button and it's going to randomly add a nice animation. So you can, you know, browse through and brainstorm some really cool animations. Very easy and simple to use. So all in all, I would highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check out the AEG's pack manager. They have some really amazing product as well as some free stuffs as well. The link will be down in the description box below. And I hope you enjoyed this review video of the AEG's pack manager. And if you did, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.